from Ohio Off-Road. We are doing something a little different, so we're not doing any big trip at the moment or working on um, the Jeeps. But I figured in this time, I might as well give you guys 10 minutes or 15 minutes to show you guys what we're going, what's going on for today. Right now, we are heading down to my brother-in-law's house to pick up an old truck of his. It is a 2000, I think a 2000, I don't know, Dodge Ram 1500. Now this truck has been completely beat to crap. He used it as a, a complete toy for many years. And I think maybe five years ago or so, he brought it down to, down to his in-law's house and just kind of stored it away for the past five years. So what we're doing now, we're going to pick it up. And my nephew, he is going to buy it off my brother for, I don't know, $300 or $150. I think it's $150, but he has to do some work around his, his house to get the $150. So, hope you guys enjoy this quick little video of our fun Saturday of messing around. All right, so we got to the location to pick up the truck. Here is the truck, like I said, 2000. 2000? 2000 Ram 1500. It has definitely seen better days. Go look at this. It's it found a tree, so that'll be nice. It doesn't need pounded out. They that'll just buff right out. Door makes a nice, beautiful sound when you open, but that's that's how they're supposed to sound. So, but yeah, it was parked right back there somewhere and when we got here he's already moving it up so it moves so that's a positive but um it ended up stalling out so right now we are jumping it again and there's my brother matt wherever somewhere over there that's matt so fun day fun fun day all right, now we're gonna go meet the nephew who is buying it off my brother. So, yep. That guy, he's, he's the old owner. And here is so, Jacob. How's it going? So, so Jake, why do you want to buy this truck? It's <laughs> close to buy, I want to fix it. Yep, he's getting a pretty pretty sweet deal on it too. Like I said, it's 150 or $300. And it's going to be a, a really, really good learning experience for him just to tinker around and then he'll be able to learn more and more about fixing cars. So go, going out a couple hundred dollars, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, but I think it'll be all right to drive it around the city and stuff. This one is putting some air in that tire because if we didn't, on our way home, it's gonna pop a bead. So, set air it up. But we got everything tied down, the straps are there. Truck's ready to go do some work.
40 minute drive home and then we get this giant turd unloaded. He is keeping it at my mom's house, so his grandmother's. Once we got to my mom's house, it's time to unload the trailer. Trying to get a jump so we can get off the trailer now. After spending a little bit too much time, we decided we needed to push the truck off the trailer since it wouldn't hold idle for us to back up. Jake, what are you doing? I'm hmm. Alright Jake, what are you guys doing now? Zip tying our mirror together. <laughs> working it works it see if it works it works yep. can't argue with it ain't the first time either <laughs> all right so we got the truck all here and unloaded and got it moved over to the proper place in the driveway and these guys have been cleaning it for the past hour maybe a little bit more getting all the mud off of it so they can start <laughs> working on it so i think they gotta drop the transmission and do a bunch of other work to it to get it running and get it working right but that was our excitement for today